from a military advisory board perspective, we said we're not climate scientists, and certainly some of the arguments for and against uh, the science uh, are almost uh, theological in their, their dimensions. And we said, look, you never have 100% certainty about anything. And if you wait for 100% certainty on the battlefield, mm -hmm. something bad is going to happen. So let's take some prudent actions to deal with the effects of climate change, drought, too much uh, water in some places because of torrential rains or, or uh, typhoons or monsoons, uh, not enough water, multi-year droughts that cause crop failures or fishery failures, and the effect that they have on people, large populations, literally measured in the millions, that could be displaced across existing borders because they become environmental refugees. Now, this was, you said this report came out in 2007. Yes. The mid of 2007? April of 2007. That was actually before the IPCC fourth assessment report that's been in the news a lot lately. So right. you were basing, you, this group of uh, military brass, were right. basing this on pre previous scientific assessments. Exactly. And a lot of that was uh, from the National Academy of Science uh, right here in the United States. Uh, some assessments that had been done by the uh, Central Intelligence AG, Agency, for example, and it was uh, all focused on the effects that climate could have on populations and the instability that that could create. A good example of that is around the world in critical regions, we have what I would describe as fragile governments. You add to those fragile governments and fragile societies the stresses that can be caused by the effects of climate change, and you have a recipe for a fragile government becoming a failed government, creating a vacuum of power into which you're going to have uh, paramilitaries emerge, organized crime, extremists, and terrorism, uh, much as we have seen in the past in Afghanistan and in Somalia. 